Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. Divine Mother, Divine Mother. <coughs> Friend, Beloved God, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Babaji Krishna, Krishna. Lahiri Mahashaya, Mahashaya. Swami Sri Yukteswar, Swami Shri Beloved, Beloved Guru, Paramahansa Yogananda Ji, Saints of all religions, Saints of all religions. We, humbly we humbly bow to you all. Bless us as thy channels, Bless us as thy channels. and by our service to thee, and, by our service to thee. And, deep meditation. and deep meditation. May we attune ourselves. May we to thy cosmic light. To thy cosmic light. We, are thine. we are thine. Be thou ours. Be thou ours. Om. Om. Peace. Peace. Amen. I should have mentioned, of course, that after the gift and uh, the offering and the gift, we have our wonderful Christmas buffet in the dining room, which um, <clears throat> is not to be missed. <laughs> so we and went. if I can uh, guess with this crowd will not be <laughs> we want to thank Dave Bingham who worked with us the past couple days to assemble these slides and uh, all sorts of technical skills that were far beyond our reach so thank you Dave. <laughs> so. As you know, we've spent the last three months, a little more than that, away from uh, Ananda Village in America. Most of that time was spent in India. And so we're going to show you slides and help give you a visual understanding of where we were and what we've been doing. In many ways, it was a trip that probably changed uh, the trajectory for Davy and me personally, and I think it also changed the trajectory for our work in India especially, but by extension for Ananda's work around the world. So we'll have a little slideshow so that you can see. So pause there. We started out in the north near uh, New Delhi. And uh, in Indian terms, that's called NCR, the National Capital Region. And it includes not only New Delhi, but I think the next slide shows the other centers. Yes, you can see New Delhi toward the top and then toward the bottom as if in a triangle gurgon and then Noida, those three larger cities. We have residential centers in each of those. And then we have two uh, centers uh, that are very strong meditation groups and centers in two other areas, uh, Rajori Park and Rajori Gardens and beautifully named Nirvana. <laughs> and so we have five centers in this NCR region. And so go ahead. So Davy and I gave a lot of satsangs and classes. Uh, go ahead. This is the uh, De uh, Delhi or the Gurgaon Ashram, the first That's one. Where the first one was. And this is at our center, which is about a 10 minute drive uh, from the ashram. And we have the upper floor of a whole um, kind of community center there. We have uh, lots of classes and activities there. When we gave talks there, it was filled to overflowing. So the work is very vibrant. Go ahead. This uh, is just a shot of two dear old friends of Swamiji's, uh, Krishna on the left and Indu Ban on the right. And they were with Swamiji when he started Ananda's, what was to become Ananda's work then was SRF's work in 1958. They were his uh, sidekicks and helpmates. Go and Indu is Rani Ban's son, for if you remember from Rani Ban helped Swami with the Delhi project. This is our ashram, newly uh, acquired in New Delhi, and 
uh, Daya and Keshava lived there. It's got guest rooms and then many uh, teaching rooms and temples. This is the core group there. Very, very active center. Go ahead. Uh, we did a lot of uh, tea and dinner ministry. I <laughs> yeah, I know, it's hard, it's hard, but somebody has to do it. <laughs> so I wouldn't want to count the number of teas or dinners we had, and I certainly don't want to count the number of calories. We had. <laughs> Go ahead. So then after a period of about three weeks in uh, New Delhi, then we went to Calcutta, where we did a Kriya initiation at Master's Home. This is in Master's Home at 4 Garpar Road, and this is a Kriya initiation there. Pause here. Among other things that we did, there is a new endeavor that is starting, one could call it the third leg of Ananda's work, where a, a friend of ours and along with Chichulia and Vivek is establishing a charitable trust which will eventually serve millions of people. And so as part of that, we went to ask the blessings of Mother Teresa and this is Mother Teresa's tomb in Calcutta. And we had a very deep experience there. We met the second nun who came after Mother Teresa and talked with her for a while and, and took Mother Teresa's blessings for this new endeavor. Go ahead. Then we, uh, after that, we went down to our uh, community and also city center in Pune which you can see down in the lower left. You've heard about the Pune Flats, probably, the community. This is a, a series of two or three slides that give you an idea of the scope of those flats. That represents maybe a third or a quarter of the total development there. And this is the core group at the community center in city Pune, center. city center in Pune itself. So the land where the community is, depending on the traffic, is about an hour and a half drive from here. The thriving uh, city center everywhere in India, in all of the cities, our work is just booming. Then we went to a pilgrimage to Babaji's cave. You we, see it on the we upper. We joined Dai and Keshava, who are leading a pilgrimage with 44 Indians going to Babaji's cave. And so we'll show you some pictures. This is the group. This is just on the way to Babaji's cave. Go ahead. You probably recognize that, those culprits. This is where we stayed on that pilgrimage, and every room had beautiful views of, go ahead, mountains. This was our first extended stay in the high Himalayas. In the mornings, we came out and did energization. These beautiful rolling foothills with the high Himalayas. And this is the walk up to Babaji's cave. From where you can park, it takes about an hour of, half hour of relatively flat uh, walking, and then about a half hour of quite uh, steep, uh, relatively strenuous walking to get to the cave. This is the cave itself, which is where Babaji initiated Lahiri Mahashaya. You could call this the point of birth of what started Ananda and the Kriya Yoga movement in the world. And if you uh, notice, Jyotish and I are holding a very long mala, which we'll, have, we'll explain more about later. But uh, the cave itself has had a door installed. Otherwise, this shows the cave. 
You see that mall at the base there? This is from inside looking out, so you get a sense of what the cave is inside. Uh, about 15 people can fit into it, and so Davy and I meditated uh, basically where the camera is now, looking out at the very back of the cave, as groups of about 15 came in for about 40 minutes of meditation for each group. And it was just a really deep and lovely experience. This is the next day, having breakfast. The man in between is Dr. Aditya, who is one of the trustees of the Ananda work in, um, in, in India and a long-term resident in Pune at the Pune community. And he's now the spiritual director of the Pune city community. And this is just a shot because I want you to take a close look at the man on the left, sweet Kriyabhan devotee, who has been voted in two different uh, programs to be the very best, the Emmy winning, award winning villain for India. <laughs> He said he's very good at making schemes. And yes. So, so he, and he just has, won big awards. Yes, and he has some kind of a head gesture where he spins his head very quickly when one of his schemes comes to fruition. <laughs> he's famous for it. Then from, the, you see the, the circle is by Ronikat. That is about where Babaji's cave is. And then where the other mark is the pinpoint is a place called Abbott Mount and uh, a friend of Ananda's a, a member close member uh, owns a house there and we uh, Ananda uses it for occasional retreats and so on our way there through the hillside I just wanted you to see how uh, uh, the land is used with steep terracing in in these steep hillsides. So we met Diana and Pia at this Guru Prem at the uh, uh, place in Abbott Mount. This is it from a distance. And uh, as I say, Ananda organizes retreats there occasionally. It, it isn't large, it might hold eight or 10 people at a time, but beautiful. You can see the mountains in the far distance. Dave. Okay, hold there a second. Um, this area, this place is really only about 60 or 70 miles as the crow flies from Babaji's cave. And that area was inhabited by the Pandavas and many, many stories, including the 13 years that they spent in the wilderness takes place in that area. So it's especially for our line, a very, very sacred area, Babaji's Cave and, and the mountains nearby. This is a little uh, Shiva temple and uh, dedicated to Nanda Devi, which is a mountain that you can see from there. That's within about a five minute walk of the, uh, of the house. This is us out for daily walks. Not bad, huh? <laughs> that, the mountain there is Matnanda Devi, which is particularly precious to uh, our line and also uh, very special to, uh, to many who live in the area. And that pointy one is Pancha Chuli. Pancha means five, and that's where the Pandavas were supposed to have lived. And that's a... <laughs> Langur in the trees. That's right. That was taken from the sidewalk of the house. And so we've said goodbye to the Himalayas. This is a, a group viewing of the a rough cut of the movie The Answer, which I'll talk about a little bit more. The man in the middle holding the flowers is the director, Pavan, whom many of you know. 
And this group gathered together and we saw uh, the rough cut of it. And now we're, in fact, Davey and I have been working for hours this weekend on making editorial suggestions um, for, for the movie. And we ended our stay with a group, uh, group leaders convention for two days at the ashram that we showed in New Delhi. We all gathered there and we had two days of planning for the future of India in 2015, which uh, we'll share in a little more detail because it very much overlaps with the future of planning for Ananda Worldwide in 2015. This picture was taken, it, we use it often, but we wanted to close with it because we, Jyotish took this in 2003 when we all first landed in India with Swami when he was starting the work there. And I, I always feel it represents his blessings and his desire that Master's work spread in India. And in fact, Jaya reminded us when Swami was asked, why have you come to India? He said, to make my master's teachings better known in the land of his birth. And this somehow captures that for This us. was taken on the outside of a little guest house that we were staying because we had nowhere else to stay at that time. So a little over 10 years ago, and now 10 years later, we have a booming, booming work throughout India due to Master and Swamiji and God's grace.